Atalanta are interested in signing forward Beto from Everton after the recent long-term injury to Gianluca Schumacher, who uh, he got injured in the pre-season friendly at the weekend. The Italian side are ready to make a proposal, according to the Italian press, of €20 million Euros for the striker Everton bought from Udinese last summer. Uh, Beto done all right for Udinese. I think he scored 25 goals, I think, in two seasons there. Come to Everton, he only managed five in all competitions last season. There has been uh, interest shown in him all summer from Bologna as well. And the Everton striker himself has said he wants to stay and prove himself, but maybe the pull of Atalanta, who've got Champions League football to offer, and have also just bought former Everton defender Ben Goffrey as well from the club earlier this summer. Look as though they're going to make a bid to take Beto to Italy. Everton had apparently shown interest in former Liverpool defender Joel Matty. The 32-year-old is a free agent after leaving Liverpool at the end of last season. Bayer Leverkusen and Fulham are also interested in him. Matip's agent has reportedly met with all three clubs. Yeah, I'm not convinced with this one. Everton have just signed Jake O'Brien, of course. The only way that this would make any kind of sense really the fact he's a free transfer he was injured he hit at Liverpool but if Everton were to sell Michael Keane and Mason Holgate and Sean Dyche wanted another centre-back but I don't know whether Matip had wanted to join Everton haven't been at Liverpool I'm not sure uh, reports again today linking Everton with a move for Manchester City midfield player Calvin Phillips um, footy insider reported that Everton are leading the race to sign the midfielder on loan from Manchester City. He is had currently on loan with City in the United States. I think the problem with this one is he's on big money at Manchester City and it's the amount of money that Man City are going to want to recoup from the deal. I think Everton would like him if it was favourable. I think Joe Thomas in the Echo has reported that Everton had jump at the chance to take him if it, the, the deal kind of favoured Everton. He just hasn't settled at City in the slightest. You know, looked really good at Leeds, was in the England side, and he went to Manchester City and he's just never been able to break into their side. It's someone who Everton have repeatedly been linked with from last August, again in January before he went off to West Ham, and have been linked all summer again. It's one of them where you look and you wouldn't be surprised if he did end up at Everton on loan for the season, but like I say, the terms would have to improve favourably for that to happen. Jordan Pickford returned to Everton training today after an extended holiday if following England's European Championship final defeat. Um, Pickford it was in excellent form for Everton last season. It's good to have him back. I think, you know, he's such a big character in the Everton side and in that squad. And I think, you know, he deservedly had a break. He was excellent for England and was key in them making the final. Um, and therefore, getting him back now in amongst it, I think Sean Dykes was, you know, wants him back. I imagine he will play against Roma at Goodison on Saturday. Jao Virginia has been in for Everton. Um, for most of the pre-season, Everton do, of course, play a behind-closed-doors game against Motherwell tomorrow. Doubt Pickford will feature in that one, but I, I imagine he will be in the squad when Everton play Roma at Goodison Park at the weekend. And finally, Everton beat Preston North End 3-0 on Saturday with goals from Dominic Calvert-Lewin and goals from debutants Jake O'Brien and Jesper Lindstrom, giving Sean Dyche his first victory of pre-season. There you go. That is it for the news day. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks very much for watching. See you later.